Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivers. Uh, I am the Carb Addiction Doc, and as such, one of the things that we understand is that in a highly dysfunctional way, people use external mechanisms to help them to handle their emotional needs. They use affirmation from other people who cannot unconditionally aff affirm that you're a good person, or drugs, crystal meth, crack cocaine, heroin, carbohydrates, as a way to make ourselves feel good. But those are very poor surrogates for feeling good from within, for feeling good based on effort you put into things that make you feel good, that raise your self-esteem, your self-confidence, and your self-respect. And one of the things in the space that I work in, and probably one of the, the least recognized things, is the number of people that we see in our space who are struggling, who've tried a ketogenic diet but are stalled out or struggling. And they don't realize, or they don't, they may realize, but they don't have ownership of the fact that the most profound emotion that they're dealing with is depression. Depression is so common, so poorly recognized, so poorly understood, and other people don't see it. We hide away from other people so that they won't see it. We cannot get ourselves to do things because we too feel too down. We're in front of social media all day long because we're hiding away. We lie in bed all day long because we're hiding away. We watch TV all day long. We don't engage in an effort-based emotion management system. We don't engage with, engage with other people. We don't talk with other people. We've lost our sense of happiness. We've lost our sense of joy and pleasure. And the only place we can derive it from is from sugar and starch, snacking and overeating. Depression is very, very common. And depression, for most people, I'm not talking about major depression, but reactive depression for most people is a consequence of the comprehensive absence of things that we do that make us feel good, that give us meaning to our lives, that create a sense of optimism. When I talk to new people, and they keep defining themselves based on who they used to be or what they used to do. I used to be skinny. I used to do this at college. I used to. And none of their discussion with me is about what they're going to do, what their plans are in the future. Optimism. The doorway to depression is living in the past because you do not see a future. And you're not engaging in things today that are going to give you that future. And a large part of what we do in the carbohydrate addiction space, apart from dealing with carbohydrates and that kind of thing, is helping to people to recognize and understand the depth of their depression. Now, you don't leap out of the hole of depression. You climb out of it one rung at a time. And there are a lot of people out there who are profoundly depressed. They don't recognize or know it or own it that much. And all they want to do is eat less carbohydrates. That's not where it starts. If you're profoundly depressed and you're relying on carbohydrates and snacks as your exclusive source of emotional management, then we have to start by finding other, helping you to find other forms of emotional positivity in your life. Little, little inklings, little, little things that you're proud of. Little quirky things that you do. And as your pride in yourself, as pride in effort starts happening, as you can process and connect with your depression, and you can consciously force yourself, and that's the phrase I use, consciously force yourself to do things. As you slowly lift that heavy, wet blanket of depression, then it becomes easier to challenge yourself not to eat carbohydrates. So, so for a lot of people, it isn't starting with a ketogenic diet. It isn't starting with carbohydrates. It's starting to recognize and feel the pulse of your own emotional state. And so many people are trapped in dead relationships, are trapped in the absence of an existing life and refer to their former life because they cannot see a future. Helping people to connect and own that word Yes, I am depressed. And he, not about this is why, but here's what I'm going to do about it. And sometimes we need medication. Sometimes dealing with early depression when it's not even recognized is like walking in quicksand. I want to get better, but I can't go anywhere because every time I put my foot down, it just sinks into this quagmire. And sometimes we need a platform that is given to us by medication for three to six months. So what we'll do is we'll use antidepressants for a short period of time 
to stabilize the foundation. So you've got a hard foundation to step on as you rebuild your life, as you start to look at optimism, you start to make positive beneficial changes to yourself, as you start to re-engage with your life or engage with your life for the first time. And we can use those antidepressant medications for a little while. And then once you've established yourself on the rung, that ladder that gets you out of the hole of depression toward optimism, toward happiness, and you're doing daily things that make you feel good about yourself, then we can slowly wean you off that antidepressant medication. But don't knock the medication. I'm not a big medication prescriber, but there's some people that need that. There are some people that have been on antidepressants for, for a long, long time without any management. Well, I've been on Wellbutrin since my pregnancy. Well, my kids are 23 years old. You know, well, butrin for 23 years, it ain't working so good for you right now. Help us to understand the nature of your depression, the nature of your anxiety that is a predicate of carbohydrate addiction. And let's work with that while you work with your diet, while you work with your health. Because it's all integrated. It's all one package. And we understand that. We have Aaron Smith, our uh, uh, psychiatric nurse practitioner, who helps to work with this. So do I. One of, the, one of the commonest characteristics of people that, look in, that, that enter a support group, a bariatric, a weight management, or a type 2 diabetes support group, is depression. It is depression. And we can help you with that. We can help you step by step to climb out of the hole of depression. But you've got to recognize, you've got to own it first. And that is true for children as well. That's true for young kids. That's true for kids that just hide away from life, that are into vaping, into pornography, into uh, um, depression and suicide. This isn't about just carbohydrates and just about eating right. That's changing what you're eating. What you got to understand is why you're doing it. So if you're not sure, come and visit with us, 561-517-0642. Let's help you to figure this out. It's not a shame. It's not a stigma. We're not going to judge you or criticize you because of it. We're going to hold out our hand and help you out of that hole. We all get depressed from time to time, but you don't want to live there. You don't want to live in that hole of depression. Let's help you climb out of this and recognize it when it's happening and use strategies to arrest your slide into depression and get back on track. The world out there doesn't matter. The world in here matters. It doesn't matter what life has done to you. As long as you've got a pulse, we can help you to be okay. But suicide and depression are scourges. And there's no reason for it. There's absolutely no reason for it. The reason that, that, that those things happen is because you rely on external mechanism of emotion management. And you rely on the judgment and the uh, um, validation of others of who you are as a human being. And it is not other people's job to do that. And it is not your job to desire that from other people. The only person that matters is you and yourself. And if you're feeling good about yourself, what they say about you doesn't matter. Let's help you out of this hole, please. We want you to wake up dead one day of old age, <laughs> not by any other reason. I am the Carb Addiction Doc. If this has triggered you, set up a visit. Leave a comment down below. Leave a comment down below. Don't fear your depression. Let's process it.